Hey, Bisons fans, we're here joined by Davis Schneider for a couple of minutes in Dunedin. Davis, well, first of all, we chatted a little bit last year, but it was such a whirlwind experience for you last year. Can you explain to the fans what it was like for your first call to the big leagues? Yeah, at first, you know, you don't really believe it until it kind of happens. And even after the year, all the things that um, happened last year, I still didn't really believe it because I was still back at home with my parents, living in my parents' basement. So, like, that aspect, nothing really changed. But um, it was just cool to be around you know, all the guys that I wasn't here last year in big league camp and kind of experienced that with them. And the guys were great to me up there. They really kind of welcomed me at first. Didn't really feel, uh, didn't really feel like I was like a new guy or a rookie. I kind of was there. Um, like I felt like I was there all year. So the guys were great in that aspect, but you know, I still don't believe it really what happened last year, but you know, I feel like that's a good thing to have that mindset to where, you know, you just got to keep still working towards something and achieve something really good. And what, what was kind of your off season like in terms of getting ready for spring training this year as somebody who has been in the big leagues before? Yeah, I mean, nothing really changed when it came to my training or anything like that. I, I try to keep it as simple as possible. I, and I like being home. I like being around my family, my friends back home in Jersey. So that aspect didn't really change that much. I try not to switch anything up, you know, still working out you know, six days a week. Hitting, um, hitting most days a week, so still getting my reps in as best way I can. Didn't really change too much, though. Do you kind of take the mentality that you kind of did all the way through last year? Look, you're number 28 prospect going into the season, so it's not as if you weren't on the radar, but you, you've had to claw your way for pretty much everything. You've had to fight for it. And is that the same mentality you take into this season? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like I'm still fighting for a job. Like, I feel like, especially in baseball, nothing's for, you can't take anything for granted. Nothing's given to you, mm -hmm. whether you're making, you know, $20 million a year or, you know, in a spot like me, who's, you know, kind of like between AAA and the big leagues. So, like, you got to make sure you're going to work every day, make sure you're putting your work in, kind of really not take it for granted because you never know when your last day is going to be playing baseball. So just make sure you give it everything you got each day. And I noticed it's yourself, Spencer, and Ernie. Are rooming this year in, in uh, here in Dunedin. Yeah. What's that been like? And uh, Ernie was such a glue guy to last year's Bison's team, and even in the big leagues, he's, and so he's an important piece to last year, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, he had a obviously a great year offensively and defensively. You know, helped out the big league team when he was up there. Triple A, you see his numbers and they're insane. But um, you know, he, yeah, he is that glue guy. He, he's that guy you kind of want around all the time, just because he brings the vibes, he brings the energy, and he's just he's just a baseball guy. Loves to talk baseball, but he also is that guy off the field who. When you don't need to talk baseball, he'll be there for you as like a friend and stuff like that. So he's just a great guy overall to be around. And how about Casey Candell? He's coming back to Buffalo again this year. And, you know, it's, it's kind of our, our treat that, to have him again. But what has he been as a leader and as somebody you've, you've uh, had as a manager, not just in Buffalo, but even in Vancouver? Yeah, he's a really good guy to look up to, especially, um, you know, just as a human being. He's always fun. He's always outgoing. He, he loves the... He loves the game of baseball, but he's also very serious you know, when it comes to baseball. And he only expects you know you to hustle, work hard, and show up on time. Not too much to ask for, but if you don't do one of those three things, he'll really out for it. He just loves the game so much, and he doesn't like to like to see it disrespected or kind of like take it for granted. So he'll get up your ass sometimes if you're you know messing off. So he's a great manager to have, and he's really smart. Been around the game, played with a lot of great players, and you know he's a, I feel like one of the, my best managers I've ever had. You played a, a little bit of left field last year in the big leagues, even in Buffalo as well. Is there a spot you feel still feel maybe the most comfortable at or a spot you kind of really have, have worked a lot on last year? Um, I like DH. Okay. <laughs> no, but probably a little bit second base just because I'm primarily an infield. I grew up playing infield. And left field, I'm definitely a little bit more comfortable now. But obviously, second base is my main home I like to be at just because, you know, I've been an infield my whole life. So, But I'm definitely getting more comfortable out in left field. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm like a... Like I'm a professional there, I feel like I'm getting a lot better reps out there, a lot of better jumps. So it's like, uh, you know, it's like my second home now. Well, Davis, thanks yeah. for the time today. Yeah. Continued success here in Dunedin and whatever's next. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pat.